Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the viewers and everyone in the world. Today we are going to take a look at Libra's monthly love tarot reading for the month of March. Okay. In this spread we're going to take a look at you Libra, your love interest. Um, the energy energy surrounding each and then we'll look at the challenges and where this is headed okay how we're gonna get there please keep in mind guys the messages here on YouTube are general they are not going to resonate every time with every person you are more than welcome to check other placements in your birth chart it's really about the title if there's something in the title here on this channel there's most likely something within the message for you Okay. I do feel like you're going to know when the message is meant for you. If there's any doubt, any questioning, it's probably not for you. Um, if you kind of have this, yes, this is my reading, almost personal feeling, then the message is probably meant for you. Okay. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits I offer, how to get entered into the drawing here on the channel, or any other useful and helpful information is all in the description box. Kindly please check below. And if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome. It does help set your intentions with the channel as well um, by subscribing, liking, sharing, or not commenting. So without further ado, Let's get started here, Libra. Most important message here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit for the month of March. What does Libra need to see? I'm going to start by saying a little blessing here. Peace, Spirit, we ask for a clear and concise message to come through to our subscribers. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. Thank you again for the clairvoyance and opportunity to do these readings for these lovely people. Thank you again, Spirit. Blessed be. All right, Libra, let's see. Most important message here for Libra, Spirit. Just Libra need to see month of March in love. So Coffin says, ending, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transformation. Then we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, so something is definitely over. Do you feel like there is some heavy lessons that you're probably learning from this ending here, Libra? Let's get one more card out. I feel like you may have a very deep connection or have had a very deep connection with this person. And that's why it's not been easy to let go of this connection. But I feel like things are going to be coming together here soon. There may be a friend that comes into your life, um, an opportunity, maybe it's within work or career, that is going to occupy your time to help you progress through this healing phase, okay? But I do feel like once everything's said and done here, Libra, you are going to feel liberated from this relationship or this person. I feel like this relationship that you're ending or the situationship rather that you're ending was very toxic let's see most important message here for Libra spirit what does Libra need to see 
for March in love. What is the energy surrounding Libra at this time, Spirit? What's the energy surrounding Libra? Please and thank you. Most important message for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy surrounding Libra spirit at this time? Four of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you're feeling very guarded. Okay, like you have to protect yourself from a situation. Um, maybe... However, this had ended was very tumultuous and um, I feel like you're just trying to protect what you have left. For the energy that I'm picking up here. Okay, let's see. For Libra. More about this for Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles to the Four of Swords, so healing energy. Um, the Fours are symbolic of a solid foundation here, Libra. So I do feel, again, like this needed to happen, okay? I feel like you're coming into a more solid time, okay? I feel like this ending that you've gone through has really change your perspective on relationships with the hanged man okay i also the five of wands has been on the bottom of the deck two three times so i feel like there's definitely some some type of one-upping energy going on here okay four of wands in reverse so your person is feeling this loss okay this tells me that this person had thought that you guys were meant to be together like that soulmate twin flame connection but this is like you guys are in separation okay star card it's their present energy is their healing they're healing from this situation i feel like there's been a lot of toxic energy that has been exuded here between the two of you, okay? And that, even though that's in the past, it still has an effect on your guys' perception in the future of each other, okay? I do feel like this person it is kind of in this phase of like... They're wounded. They're they have their guard up. They're the nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So it's like there's been a lot of water under the bridge, a lot of baggage in this connection, and they're uncertain if this is something that they want to continue to try for. I do feel like this relationship was probably very one-sided so either you took a lot from this person or this person took a lot from you and then when you withheld your energy time money what have you they started causing problems which in turn caused a lot of water under the bridge so let's see here libra what are the challenges what challenges does Libra face here, Spirit, in this connection? Challenges does Libra face? Mm -hmm. Even though this is a past connection, I feel like it's very toxic. There's healing that needs to take place on, from both sides. 
But I get the sense that this person, whoever's energy this is right here, is the person who's kind of going against the grain. Who's causing the problems, who's causing the drama. The outcome here is, I feel like you guys are going to be ending this. So I feel like this toxicity that you guys have exuded has caused a lot of drama, has caused a heart, a lot of sadness, a lot of pain. And I also get the sense here that you guys both are mirroring one another. So I feel like you guys both kind of look at each other like you betrayed one another, stabbed in the back, feeling at loss, like a waste of time. I do feel like this is a completion here. There's a lot of tens, okay? The world card is present. So let's get some clarification here, Libra. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What does Libra, we're going to clarify the spread here and um, we're going to first clarify this four of pentacles, four of swords, see um, what, what this is about. So the card coming out to clarify the Four of Swords with the Four of Pentacles is the wheel in reverse here. So delays, right? I feel like this, the opportunities that are meant to come into your life have been delayed until this healing opportunity has taken place. It's healing. You need to heal. Okay. Mm -hmm emperor a very stubborn type of energy okay i get the sense here that either you or this person um and it's coming out on your side so i feel like you were very set in the way you wanted things handled okay um you knew how things were going to go and if it didn't go that way um well i feel like you were just withholding your energy you know from this connection this person may very well have been dealing with heartache loss from the past okay and Again, I feel this, this is the Queen of Wands right here in reverse though. So I feel like there's definitely this mirroring type of energy that's going on here, okay? Get the sense that they were in the past very, when you met them, they were probably healing from a past situation, okay? Let's clarify this Devil, Six of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Cups here, Spirit. Ooh, five of Swords. So, very competitive type of energy that's being exuded here, okay? Now, one thing that I do get, that I do sense, this person may come in with an apology, okay? Um, but I feel like this is more to get closure on this situation, okay? To bring closure to this, okay? Listen to what they got to say, okay? We got the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. Listen to what they have to say, okay? So, 
Libra. And I'm just going to go a little bit further on um, the reason why you should listen to what they have to say, even though you want to be guarded, is because you may very well already have made up your mind that you're not going to entertain this again. I do see that with the emperor in reverse with the hanged man, you've changed your perspective on this completely. You're not entertaining this at all, okay? But the reason why I say listen to this person and what they have to say is because I feel like they're going to bring in closure and that's going to help get the ball rolling, okay, in your favor. So be open to at least hearing them out. All right, Libra, we are going to get your power thought card for the month of March in love. I am going to do an extended reading on this. In the extended, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into your person, you know, where what their intentions are here, where they're headed. Um, we'll take a look into some new opportunities, if there's anything new coming in. And... Um, We'll also get some guidance cards out, take a look at the advice moving forward here for March in love. If this was resonating with you, you are more than welcome to join us. If not, if it's not resonating, you're still more than welcome to join us. The link will be below in the description box. Um, I also offer over there, guys, uh, $14 a month for the membership fee. And... The reason why it's that price is because you get access to all of the videos that I've uploaded so far and that I will upload for the rest of the year. So it's $14 a month if that's something you're interested in. That link is the second link, okay? The first link is the link to the video itself, okay? So check that out. Otherwise, guys, Power Thought card. It's coming out for you, Libra. I am willing to change. I am willing to release old negative beliefs. They are only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. I am willing to change. So, Libra, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for the month of March. Again, if you want to get in on the extended, the link will be below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.